This is great stuff. Phil Bennett covering. Chased by Alistair Scull. Brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. John Williams. It's amazing, you know, if I if I'd be playing for Wales, I'd have probably put that ball without any doubt as I'm running back thinking that's gonna go in, touch somewhere near the halfway line, hopefully. But as as you're running back, I'm thinking, hang oh, on, what, what options are open here? Because it's come back in your mind, you're thinking ahead, hopefully as a fly half, what's next? You're ahead of the game if you like. And as I got the ball, people don't realise that, that about two months before that, I played for my beloved Scarlets and we'd beaten the All Blacks 9-3. And the wing forward that afternoon with the All Blacks was Alistair Scone. Oh, he had chased me down all afternoon in, in, in Stradley Park. He dived at me when he hit my head off and I just stepped one side and he'd go past me. And I just think, if you slow down a bit, you might have a chance of catching me. And as I got the ball, I think, well, who's coming 100 miles an hour? It's Alistair Scone. I thought, he, he's never learned his lesson. So I sidestepped and he flew past me. But what I didn't realise, there was two or three other All Blacks coming behind him, Good Patrick, somebody else, somebody else. And eventually I beat those two or three other guys. And uh, really then, I, as I passed the ball out to my great friend, J.P.R. Williams, who was a great counter-attacking fullback and a very brave man, he took the high hit from Brian Williams, got the ball away. Do you know what's great in a way? Because, you know, I think seven guys handled the ball in the end that John Pullen had the ball. I love John Pullen because I played against him at Bristol and Bristol and Italy were hate matches. You know, Wales against England up in Bristol and vice versa. That John caught and passed the ball. So it's not just maybe six or seven Welshmen. There was an Englishman involved in that, that he took part in that. I think it was just great and uh, Edwards diving over the corner. And, and I never get tired of Cliff Morgan's commentary. Absolutely incredible. It should have been Bill McLaren. He couldn't do it because he's ill. Cliff Morgan's. And, and do you know the greatest thing about that? The crowd went absolutely berserk. And for the rest of the game, it was almost like Wales playing at home. John Dawes! Great dummy!